Welcome to part one of Google Maps Getting Started. My name is Lisa Nowakowski. You can find me on Twitter at Noah Techie. All right, in order to get started using Google My Maps, you need to navigate to your Google Drive. You can either do that by typing in drive.google.com or from any one of your Google Apps, you should see a gray waffle over on the right side. If you choose it, You'll notice that Google Drive is there and that will also bring you to your Google Drive. Um, in order to create the Google My Map, I select the blue New button. I scroll down uh, past a few of the um, apps that are available, down to More. Go over and here I find Google My Maps and you'll see the icon right here. So when I choose it, it opens up a new window and a brand new map will be there waiting for me to create. And once the map comes up, you'll notice that it's blank. It also has untitled map. If I click on this once, it brings out a pop-out window to where I can uh, name my map. And I can also add in a description of what this map might be about. I tend to use this in the classroom. The description box will have the students names or numbers in it when they are creating projects. And then I choose the blue save button. From here I have several options here, icons at the top. The first one is the undo followed by the redo button. Here we have a hand which is to select items. So once I select it my cursor turns into a hand if I left click on it, you'll notice that the hand um, grabs the map and then it, I'm able to move it around and I can center the, center the map where I choose. I can also increase by this plus button down here on the right side and it'll zoom in for me. Getting back to our icons here at the top. Um, and the next one here is a marker, so I can add a marker on a place on my map by choosing that. You'll notice the crosshairs. I might choose Columbus, Ohio. Click on it. It names it point one, but allows me the opportunity to change the name. So I'll change that to Columbus, Ohio. I again have the opportunity to write a description in here and choose the blue save button. Another option um, for us to place a marker in is possibly to um, type in the name of the location that you would wish to uh, put a marker on. So for example I could say Ann Arbor, Michigan, it comes up. I choose it, it pops up with Ann Arbor, it places it for me if I'd like to, you'll notice that the icon is green. If I would like to place this on my map, I come up here to the box where it says Add to Map, choose it, and then it turns blue. Once it's blue, it's on my map, and you'll notice it listed over here. I'm going to click off this. I'm going to come over here. I can also draw a line. So if I zoom out, I can either zoom out using the um, minus key over here or I can scroll with two fingers um, on my mouse pad. So to create this, I might want to draw a line so I can add uh, an, a drawing line, uh, which also I can create a polygon with driving directions, biking directions, or walking directions. So I can simply choose a line here. If I'd like to make it into a polygon, I would continue and double click on my point that I began with and it creates a polygon. So I can say shape. Again, I can write a description here and choose the blue save button. And I'm going to exit out so you can see I've done that. Again, I can add uh, directions or I can measure the distances and I can also measure the area. So if I choose the ruler, going back to our polygon, I can click on at each point. And once I'm done, 
is 456 miles or 9,946 square miles. Handy little feature. So join me next time when we delve a little bit deeper into the Google My Maps and what all these little icons are and what you can do with them along with the layers. Thank you.